Until springtime officially arrives on March 20th, but I think even perhaps even a more important date is when we set those clocks forward, which is in about three and a half weeks. That's the weekend before March 13th. That's Sunday. So we're 25 days away from sunsets. That'll be near seven o'clock. It's always the second Sunday in the month of March. Not always, but it has been that way for the last 20 years. It used to be in April, but they've changed it, uh, making more use of our time. So that's only yeah, not that far away where we'll have those sunsets at 7 o'clock. So we look forward to that. Check out the high temperatures across the nation today forecasted. We'll make it into the low to mid-40s, but look at it just to the west. From Cleveland to Memphis, 70s, 60s, storm development in here. Area of low pressure is going to move right up into eastern Canada, and that's going to drag the mild temperatures out ahead of it. So today, 40s, and tomorrow, we're going to be well up into the 50s. We may even touch 60 degrees. Far cry from that now, though. We're coming in at nine bone chilling degrees out there, but milder this afternoon and milder through Friday morning. Friday is going to be an upside down day where we start warm, but as the day goes on, temperatures are going to be falling. And that's because a cold front arrives Thursday night, and that's going to bring stormy conditions, some heavy downpours, some strong gusty winds perhaps as well, and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. As we head into the weekend, things will settle down and it will be more seasonable. Although we could see a few flurries or a couple of snow showers over the weekend. So our temperature roller coaster ride is going to continue. We're way down at the bottom now, but we're going to be going up today and certainly through tomorrow. So a lot of clear skies across southern New England now. We'll notice some clouds starting to mix in as we get deeper into the morning. Temperatures by 9 a.m. in the lower 30s. And I do think we're going to come up into the 40s by this afternoon. And notice tonight, temperatures don't go down a whole lot. In fact, as we go through tomorrow morning, Clouds are with us, but look at it tomorrow. We're starting out in the low to mid 40s, and as we go into the afternoon, readings are coming up to near 60 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, but some sun as well. A strong gustly breeze out of the south. There may be a spot shower around tomorrow, north and west, but for the most part here, we're staying dry until tomorrow night. Before midnight or around midnight, that's when some heavy downpours will move through, some strong gusty winds as well, and then temperatures slide as we go into Friday morning. But let's check in with meteorologist Don Maher, who's live outside right now. Don, bone chilling cold right now. We're down into the single digits, but at least there's not a lot of wind. But of course, you're the one standing outside, so you'll be able to be able to tell us how it feels a little better than I. I mean, absolutely, Dan. Yes, it is cold out here, but the lack of wind certainly does make things just a bit more comfortable. But we are going to see those temperatures rebound as the day goes on. You mentioned temperatures low to middle 40s this afternoon, and then we get even warmer as we head on into Thursday out ahead of that storm system that will bring the rain in here. In fact, as we head through Thursday, temperatures could approach the upper 50s. Perhaps some locations may even touch 60 degrees. Now, unfortunately, that is going to come with a threat for some precipitation later in the day on Thursday, Thursday night, and into the first part of the day on Friday. But with temperatures on the mild side, this is going to be a rain event for us here in Western Mass. And we could pick up anywhere from a half to as much as an inch of rainfall as this system moves on through. And then the other story with this is going to be the winds. In fact, we could see winds here in Western Mass gusting 40, 45, maybe even up to 50 miles per hour. The wind's initially going to come out of the south before the cold front comes through. And then it says those winds turn to the northwest behind the front. That brings the colder air in here on Friday, which is why we start off mild Friday morning. But the temperatures actually fall fall as the day goes on. Right now, as far as wind advisories are concerned, high wind watch is up for portions of southeastern Mass. No advisories for us here in western Mass at this time, but that may change as the day goes on. But the bottom line, Dan, we're talking about this next storm system being a wet one in the form of rain and also dealing with some of those winds. But today, after a cold start, fairly comfortable this afternoon. Not a bad afternoon at all with high temperatures coming up into the lower 40s, 40 to 44 degrees. A normal high, by the way, should be about 37 for today, so we're going to be above that. Uh, we will notice a little more in the way of clouds and still rather blustery. Oh, by the way, full moon tonight. We'll have a lot of clouds, but in between, we'll be able to see that full moon 36 to 40. So we stay mild overnight tonight and temperatures tomorrow, of course, are going to be downright spring like 55 to 60, mostly cloudy. And that rain is late, but really the rain is tomorrow night. I mean, we might have a spot shower here around to uh, tomorrow during the afternoon, but most stay dry. It's about 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. And boy, that is uh, unusual for this time of year to see a front like this moving through with the warm air out ahead of it. So uh, some rumbles of thunder, strong gusty winds. That 53 is early. I think by the afternoon we're probably around 40 degrees at lunchtime and falling through the 30s in the afternoon. Clipper system moves through here on the weekend with maybe a few flurries of snow showers on Sunday. We'll talk more about that in the weekend forecast coming up in a few minutes. Bree and David, back to you. All right, Dan and Don, thank you guys so much. Prosecutors in Georgia started calling witnesses yesterday in the federal hate crime trial of the three men convicted of